hamsters and in this video we will be talking about breeding this video is much requested so let's get started so in this book this book says a little bit about breeding not too much but it says everything that I will cover and um, so basically um, I'll just tell you about the story about my hamsters and we'll get on to uh, my notes so, let's get started. Um, my hamsters, when I bred them, well, I didn't breed them. They, um, I went to my local pet store. They didn't have any dwarf hamsters, which at that point, that's the kind of hamster I was only looking for. So, I, um, found, we went to another pet store, which was an hour away, and, um, we... I picked up two hamsters, and the person at the pet store said that they were both girls, which obviously they weren't. Um, so three months later, I forgot. I don't know why it took so long, but they had babies, and the babies are full grown now. And that is Cinnamon, Cloves, um, Big Cat, and Malco. You guys probably, you guys pretty much know who Cinnamon and Cloves is, but you probably don't know who um moco and big cat is i post a little bit on them not really um on my instagram if you'd like to check out some of my photos or something or ask me pers not personal questions if you ask me questions on there um i also have a kick and insta message so you can always um kick or insta message me <laughs> insta message me on there um i always follow my instagram at hamsters underscore r underscore us and that's me. So, um, now let's get on with my notes that I have written. Number one, don't breed if you don't know proper information. That was going on because if you don't trust the internet, I would recommend buying a book on it, Make Your Hamsters, and most of the time, not everything is true. So, that is some of it. And then, number two, you have to be responsible for them, not your parents. Like, a lot of kids, like, breed their hamsters and they're like, Oh, you know, I don't have time for this. So, I'm just going to tell my parents, you know, take care of them. Um, no. Why would you do that? You're the one that asked them. And I wouldn't recommend breeding if you do not have time. Like, if you're too busy with school, then I would not recommend breeding. Because you will not have enough time, really. It's not really too con time consuming but it is a little bit so now we'll go to three you need to have a quiet and calm area to put to, like to put their cage because otherwise the mom will stress and she will um this is disturbing but she might actually eat her babies so you need to um make sure they're in a quiet and calm environment um, a good room would be, would be not a room that you usually don't go into, or whether it really isn't a TV, so nobody can go in and just turn on the TV, and like that. So, number four, do not pick up the hamsters when it, when, well, the hamster babies when it is just born, because the mom will not take care of it after that, and you don't want that to happen. So, um, now we will go to number five. Do not play or mess with the mom when she has the babies. That is a big one because you do not want the mom, um, you don't want to mess with her because she will get stressed and eventually she will not take care of the babies. Um, here's a tip, take out the wheel when you're bringing your hamsters um, for a little while because so otherwise the mom will focus on the wheel and not the babies. So, number six, I pretty much already covered this one. If you aren't sure with the um, information on the internet, then buy a book. So we already covered that pretty much. Number seven, this one's easy. Do research. So that's, you need to do the research. Number eight, separate the mom from the dad when she has the babies. You need to do that or if there is any other hamsters in the cage because she will, um, 
I'm very stressed out because she will protect the babies. And then nine, if you are trying to convince your parents, write out all the reasons you want to, and you should read your hamsters. Don't have a dumb reason why you should or why you want to. You need to have good reason. And number ten, change the hamster's water daily when she is the babies. If you don't do it anyways, like I do, um, you need to do it daily when she has the babies. So now we will go on to the next questions. Okay, so questions you should ask yourself. Number one, am I responsible? Number two, do I have time? Number three, did I do my research? Number um, three, four, do I have the money? Number five, why am I breeding my hamsters? Number six, do I have the supplies? And number seven, are my hamsters healthy? So, the thing is, you could write this down, you can answer these. I really don't care. These are just some questions maybe you ask in your head to yourself. Um, just, you need to ask yourself some questions if you have the time. So, so now, some things you should feed the mom and the babies. Number one, I would do boiled egg. Um, number two, apple. Number three, cucumber. Number four, lettuce. Number five, broccoli. Number six, six celery. Gosh, I can't talk today. Uh, I feed these because they are healthy and they're good because they're easy to eat. Um, because it's easy for them to eat and healthy for the babies and the mom. So that is why you should this. And this is probably the biggest one for most of you guys. How to convince your parents to breed your hamsters? How to convince your parents? Number one, how about with your other animals? More, but don't stop after you breed your hamsters. Keep going. You should be able. You should just help out with the other animals. It's not just about hamsters. You need to help out with the other animals too. Number two, don't brag to breed your hamsters. What parent would let you breed your hamsters if you beg? Like. I don't know what parent would. I know my parents wouldn't. Um, so, don't beg. Number three, pay with your own money if you need expenses for fruit or if you need to buy an extra water bottle or something because the water bottle does have to be lower when you have the baby hamster. Number four, make sure you have good cause for breeding your hamsters. You need to have a good cause because, like, what? Why? Why would you have a bad cause? Don't just say, oh, because I want to. No. You need to have a good cause for it. Um. So now we'll just, I'll just skim through the book and see if there is anything I didn't mention. Um. Um. They can, their babies, um, they have two, from between two to twelve babies. Um. That is basically stuff. That's the only thing I forgot to tell you guys. Um, if I missed anything or any questions you guys have, you can kick or inst message me, um, or follow me on Instagram, or you can just comment below on this video. Either one. Um, oh, don't kick me because my kick is not working right now. <laughs> oh, that sounds funny. Don't kick me. Um, because my kick is not working right now. So please do not kick me. That sounds weird. Um, so I hope this video helped you guys. And if you have any more questions, again, just ask me on any site practically besides Facebook and Twitter. I don't have one. Oh gosh. Um, so just basically, um, just. Go follow me on Instagram for good tips and stuff. And I don't think I forgot anything, but if you guys have more questions, just ask more. Um, I can also make I can make a YouTube video on it, or I can do something on Instagram. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you like this. Comment, rate, subscribe, and favorite. I like my thumbs up. And thanks, guys. Bye.